They would see sources go dark that were previously productive. They would see new sources of disinformation on these channels. And then, the question is, why are our private details that are transmitted online, uh, why are our private details that are stored on our personal devices any different than the details and private records of our lives that are stored in our private journals? There shouldn't be this, this distinction between digital information and printed information. People use the analogy of the haystack and the needle that you need to collect all this information in order to look for the needle of specific intelligence that you're looking for. I would argue that simply using the term haystack is misleading. This is a haystack of human lives. It's all the private records of the most intimate activities throughout our lives that are aggregated and compiled and stored for increasing frequencies of time. It may be that by seizing all of the records of our private activities, by watching everywhere we go, by watching everything we do, by analyzing every word we say, by waiting and passing judgment over every association we make and every person we love. You see things that are deeply troubling uh, all the time. And it's not just one person, it's many of them. Uh, so I raised concerns about these programs regularly and widely. More than 10 discrete colleagues uh, that I had worked with, uh, and that's both laterally and vertically in my work, I went to and I showed these programs. I said, what do you think about this? Isn't this unusual? How can, how can we be doing this? Isn't this unconstitutional? Isn't this a violation of rights? You're, you're talking about patterns of behavior. And just to rephrase the question, were, were there specific, specific, specific things where you, where you actually felt uneasy that X was being targeted? All a, simple, a simple example that everybody can uh, relate to is the ability where they now have access to all of your private records. Now, in the course of their daily work, they stumble across something that is completely unrelated to uh, their work in any sort of necessary sense. For example, uh, an intimate uh, nude photo of someone in a sexually compromising situation, but they're extremely attractive. So what do they do? They, they, they turn around in their chair and they show their coworker. And their coworker has says, oh, hey, that's great. Send that to Bill down the way. Uh, and then Bill sends it to George, George sends it to Tom, and sooner or later, this person's whole life has been seen by all of these other people. That your private images, records of your private lives, records of your intimate moments, have been taken without any specific authorization, without any specific need, is itself a violation of your rights. We need to think of it in terms of literacy, because uh, technology is a new system of uh, communication. It's a new set of symbols that people have to intuitively understand. It's like something that you learn, but just like how you learn to write letters in school, you know, you learn to use computers, how they interact, how they communicate. And technical literacy in our society is a, 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 a rare and precious resource.